After your retreat, it seems the Shining Dragon settled down. Scouts report there was no further damage to Marga. I see. Where I failed, there Diva Magica was able to suppress the power of the Shining Dragon. Even if she was the original Diva Magica, that girl didn't seem to be much of a Dragoneer. My power earned me the loyalty of the legendary Draco Machina. Original or not, can she truly be my superior? Still, in that moment when the Shining Dragon unleashed its rage, I confess I felt an unfamiliar rush of dread. Until we find a sure way to control that power, it may be best to avoid provoking him unnecessarily. Agreed. I advise we focus our efforts on locating the souls of the Sea Dragon and the Dark Dragon. The Shining Dragon can wait until we've settled our other affairs. Yoahim, you're the authority on these matters. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Regarding, uh... I was assured that with the World Dragon Souls and the Shining Dragon, we could grant someone immortality. You're sure of this? Hmm? I immortality? Uh, well, without empirical evidence, I can't possibly confirm anything for certain. What? I was told otherwise. Do you mean to tell me the invasion of Alfheim has all been for nothing? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I don't know what to tell you. Your church told my father that Alfheim held the key to immortality. That was the entire basis for our campaign. And now you tell me you can't confirm? I demand an answer! Forgive me, your highness. Our ultimate goal is... complex. Yoahim is simply having trouble explaining it in layman's terms. Rest assured, the souls of the World Dragons do indeed hold the key to immortality. We've already made a number of breakthroughs with ordinary dragon souls, such as improved physical resilience. Building on our findings, I can say with confidence that the World Dragon Souls could serve as catalysts to immortality. Yoahim merely meant that we can't truly analyze the process until we have the soul safely in hand. Precisely. Yes. Surely that clarifies the matter. <laughs> then find me the world dragons and use them. Find me a way to extend my father's life. Am I clear? Understood. His letters paint a grim picture, and his condition grows worse by the day. I cannot bear the thought of my father in such pain. If something terrible befell the Emperor, I may even be denied the throne. My place in the royal family has never been stable. The Empire would fall into chaos, and our people would suffer for it. Above all else, we cannot let that happen. I am well aware. We shall not fail. No more delays. I want a detailed plan on your search, ready by our next meeting. No excuses. <sighs> hmm. Weird to see the princess so scared of the Shining Dragon. Her Highness's concerns are well founded. Now we know how dangerous that dragon really is. So Genus was right. I guess the Shining Dragon hadn't shown its true power. This is getting a little more interesting. And Georg, what about your plan? I'm still waiting on that promise you made. Seems it's going to take a bit longer. Besides the World Dragon Souls, we need a way to control the Shining Dragon. <sighs> that kid again? Guess I'll have to beat him down sooner or later. Now I gotta think about how to make that Yuma kid unleash all his power against me. It doesn't matter what you do, Zest. 
play along or run wild. Either way, you'll only help my cause. And in the end, you shall bow before the might of Deus. Still, I hadn't accounted for the princess failing to control the Shining Dragon. We may need to adjust our strategy. Without the Shining Dragon's power, Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator, is useless to us. Yoahim, with me. We'll need to come up with some contingency plans. Yes, yes. Your Highness. Hmm? Beatrice? Just wanted to make sure you weren't beating yourself up. You'll have plenty of chances to tame the Shining Dragon. I can't say I know how it's done, but... I'm sure your Highness can control the dragon just like Lady Kirika does. Kirika. The original Diva Magica, if memory serves. You speak as though you have a personal connection with her. Something like that. I think she'd prefer we didn't, though. Why is that? Oh, I betrayed her. A long time ago. I was fairly ruthless about it, too. Betrayed? Perhaps it sounds strange, but I don't think that's true. It seems clear you're torturing yourself over whatever happened. But why lie? <laughs> there you go again, Your Highness. You're giving me too much credit. Dark Elf, remember? Betrayal's in our blood. You've expressed that before. I'm not sure what to make of this fixation on your heritage, but... Perhaps you mean the legend. I've heard the Dark Elf stole an harmonic from the World Dragons in the course of Ragnarok. Ah, so you know the story? The Wellentine Elves certainly did. I see. That's the root of it all, then. From the World Dragon's perspective, certainly I can see how Dark Elves would be condemned. But I see things differently. Indeed, if anything, I owe your ancestors a great debt. A debt? It is thanks to them that the Sanguine Church found the Armonic. I could never have become a Dragoneer without them. Well... I suppose that makes sense, but... So you are no traitor to me. You are a capable and reliable woman. And you have earned my trust. That's simplifying it a little. Perhaps. But I hope my point is made. All I mean to say is that I feel I can place my faith in you. And because of that, I have a request. Would you hear me out? Request? You make it sound so personal, Your Highness. Is this an order or not? A request, and nothing more. You are free to refuse me. I have no intention to force you into a difficult situation. Um. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't mind hearing it first. Certainly. It concerns Georg. Even as a kid, everyone was scared of the dragon within me. Nobody in that elven village wanted to be my friend. So whenever I could get away with it, I ran off. I used the Shining Dragon's power to play in the wilds. Flying, rolling boulders... But one day, I ran into a huge monster in the forest. I was terrified. I asked the Shining Dragon for help. Or maybe I just hid behind him in my own mind. But that was a mistake. Because my mind was unstable, I lost control of the dragon's power. When I woke up, everything was gone. It was terrible. Like seeing the world after a wildfire, or a volcanic eruption. 
I had turned it into a wasteland. The explosion consumed everything. Rocks, trees, rivers, hills. The power had left me broken. I couldn't move. I couldn't fly. I couldn't even turn back to normal. Until then, I hadn't realized how terrible the Shining Dragon's power could be. I was paralyzed. In a lot of ways. It was overwhelming. Waves of pain, fear, and regret. I just curled up on the ground and didn't move. I don't know how long I spent like that. Lying there, drifting in and out of consciousness. Probably days. But just when I started wondering if I was going to die there... You're hurt, but it's going to be okay. She appeared. So, what's the word from the castle? Sounds like my father and Captain Burroughs are recovering. But they've both got fevers, and they're still unconscious. I see. I hope they get better soon. Thanks. Well, until they do, I'm the royal here. I've got to keep it together. Any sign of the Imperials around? They haven't made a peep. Why, you'd never guess there was a war on. I see. How are your battles going, Liston? No sign of activity on my end, either. Well, Ixella screwed up against the Shining Dragon in that last fight. Maybe they're just being careful. In which case, we should assume the enemy has shifted their focus back to locating the World Dragon's souls. I see. Shall we continue our search as well? We lost the Sky Dragon, but the Sea Dragon and Dark Dragon should still be out there. We can't leave the town undefended. The king's still bedridden, so it'll be tough to pull the army back together like this. I think our defenses can take it. We've had some casualties, but the walls are sturdy, and we have units in reserve. So I think it'd be best if we went out and got another World Dragon Soul. I mean, if we knew where they were. Yeah, we don't have a lot of information to go on. Hmm, a World Dragon Soul. I'm sure I heard something. Brother, do you have some idea? Hmm. I can't confirm this, but my scouts may have spotted something near the Sherian coast. Really? Why haven't we heard about this until now? You haven't verified this? Investigation hasn't exactly been our top priority. Until recently, you'll recall, we were focused on supporting you. So it was just before that big battle, huh? Sounds like a lead to me. Sonia, what do you think? Yes. The Sherian coast isn't far, so let's go!